Hi guys, today's video is going to be my hamster organisation part 1. So today I'm just going to show you a small section of my organisation and I'll show you the other bits in a couple more videos which will come soon. So I hope you enjoy. So in this first section we have this glass jar with a heart on and I actually got this as a present. And here we have some cat food trays, we have the Wainwrights, um, I think it's fish with veg, and the Lily's Kitchen in Turkey. I then have some of the Pets at Home plastic bags, and these are just useful for cleaning out hamsters and stuff, so I like to keep some handy. I then have this um, box which has got different compartments in and I was using this for treats but I stopped using this because um, I got some new jars from Ikea so I stopped using this and now it's in storage. So here we have some bowls, I've got this dark blue one which is quite small actually and I just think it's quite cute, I like the colour of it. I then have this um, blue polka dot one. I've got this taller white one. So here I have my four the jars from Ikea, these were 85p each and in the first one I've got Burgess Hamster Harvest, then in the middle one I've got Harry Hamster and then in the end one I've got my Burgess Dwarf Hamster Harvest and they all have a spoon in them. Here I've got my Science Selective pellets and they are added into the hamster's food and then at the back here we've got the Pets at Home Hamster Nuggets and there's a bit of Wilco Hamster Muesli in there but that's just because my friend gave it to me and she'd mixed it in but that's fine, um, Mabel still really likes it. So here I've got some porridge oats um, which the hamsters really enjoy and I've then got some dried mealworms which Hamish absolutely loves. Um, Mabel not so much but Hamish really loves his mealworms. At the back I've got a empty tub which has flower feast which is supposed to say floral feast but the guinea pigs actually ate it all. Then I've got the chocolate from their um, advent calendar which I've just kept in here because they didn't actually eat it all. Here I've got some dried fruit. So here I've got these baby food sort of holder things. So I've got loads of these little tubs and I am just going to put hamster food in them when I go away. So each sort of day will be in a different um, tub so it's easy for whoever's looking after them to feed them. And yeah, that's just what they look like. And then you can put the little tubs on this tray and it's really useful. My mum actually gave it to me. Um, so I thought I would use it for the hamster's food when we go away. So here you just sort of slot it in if you sort of get what I'm saying. Um, I'm not too sure how well I'm explaining this but they're going to be really useful when I go away. And I've got one for each hamster so that will be helpful. So moving on to the next section, I've got this big empty tub up here and this was, well this did have treats in but I actually used them all up so I have just put it in storage for now. I then have my potty litter for the hamsters, so I use this for Mabel as she's actually stopped going to the toilet in her sand bath which is so annoying and I've had to buy her a potty and she's using that instead so that's alright. Here I've just got some little bits and bobs, I've got clips and syringes and tube like tunnel holders and cage clips and water bottle holders and all sorts of things but that's just got all the little bits in. So I then have this measuring cup which I actually got free from Pets at Home but I've never actually used it though I'm sure one day I will use it for something. So here I have Mabel's brush and I don't actually use this anymore, it was for Humphrey um, as he was a long head hamster but I don't use it anymore. And here is just a scoop which came free with the potty litter. I then have these catnip bubbles which I'm going to try out with the cats in, in the summer when it's hot. Um, I'm going to try it outside with them as my mum doesn't like me using them in the house. 
because they make it a little bit of a mess. I then have a spare water bottle, this is just a classic 150ml one and I just keep this in case I need one. I then have the Johnson's Insecticidal Spray Extra. So I had this when I had Humphrey as we think he had mites. So I used this on a brush and then just brushed it into his fur and it did sort of work. He stopped scratching and the bulb patches on his fur grew back. I then have this black bowl and here we have a white hamster bowl. And then I've also got a larger orange bowl. In this jar here I've got some syringes without needles from Viva and I use these to give the hamsters things like baby food and I do that so if I ever need to give them medication they're already used to eating out of one. I then have these bowls, I've got a little white one, I have this larger blue munch one and then I have a red nibble one. So here I've got two plastic bowls from Pets at Home, I've just got a pink one and a green one and I'm hoping to get the purple one too. At the back I've got my chinchilla sand in another, in another fava jar and I've got some pedigree milky biscuits in this other jar here. So I then have my sieve which I use for sieving out um, their sand baths and it's really useful and does help me save money. I don't use it every time I do it, um, sometimes I'll just tip it all away and start fresh. So here I just have the pink box. So. It's just one of the really useful storage boxes in pink and I just keep seed treats and sort of treat sticks and things in here so I'll just show you in more detail. So here we have the small and fairy fruit and nuts and I've tried these with hamsters before and they really like them so I thought I'd pick them up some more and I'd keep them in here. So I then have these Bonio dog biscuits in a bag and the hamsters really enjoy these. I then have one of the cranberry and I'm not too sure what else, um, treat things. I then have what's left of a millet seed bell for budgies but Hamish has sort of eaten half of it. I then have a Burgess Soup Snack Superstar which is just a seed treat. I then have some more Bonio Dog Biscuits in another bag. I then have these Vitacraft treat sticks with fruit and honey, I believe. I then have these monkey nuts and they're just from Waitrose and they're just plain roasted monkey nuts. And then last of all we have the nibble sticks. Um, I got these from B&M Bargains a while ago and I've never sort of to give them to the hams but I'll probably give them to them soon. So I then have this disinfectant in the lemon and I also have the keep it clean disinfectant in the coconut. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I organise my hamster things and where I put it all but I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more from my channel don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye!